Alright, um, hello guys, this is Preston from Denver Kaijudo. I'm sitting in my hotel room right after uh, Thunder Salton just left. Thunder Salton just left. Joshua Clark was over there uh, also playing um, a game with someone else. Jeez. Uh, <sighs> Why do names escape me? I am so bad with names, by the way. Um, but it has been one heck of a trip, guys. You have no idea. I've been excited. I got lucky enough to place in uh, top four. <laughs> my my record was I went up against two Cabal Control decks, man, and they both beat me. They both beat me, and then so my my record was three and two. It was two and two, um, and then I placed in. So there were four of us tied for ninth place, and then I took someone. Um, I took someone down who had gone two two who had gone three and two, and I actually two owed this person, and got myself uh, got myself into the finals. Uh, I mean into the top eight. So I didn't think I was gonna make top eight actually. So it was actually really surprising, and I was I was really happy I even made it that far. I didn't really uh, cover content because my. I forgot to bring my charger. Uh, that was a really rookie mistake. I'm really sorry, guys. I'll have three, four rounds maybe up. Uh, you guys want to see a lot of content. Of course, that will be on Thunder Salton's channel. And a little bit of it will be on Eternal Dueling. I'm not sure if he recorded all of his matches, but he was there. So, uh, speaking of people I got to see, so I got to see Thunder Salton. Oh, that was just... I wanted to see Thunder Salton for so long, guys, and finally got to see him. Uh, Thunder Salton, uh, Jay Matthews, the guy that posted my uh, interview up on Pojo, so that's up, actually. That just got put up uh, recently, right before I went on this trip. So I got to see him. Um, Joshua Clark, of course. And, I mean, I get down here, guys. I get down here. I flew down because it was just a lot safer at this time, and... Uh, it, it turned out about the same cost, so I flew down. Joshua Clark picks me up from the airport, guys. The whole time I'm here, he takes me out to dinner. He, uh, he bought me breakfast this morning. Uh, I missed my continental breakfast. That was that was a bummer. Oh, what kind of continental breakfast only goes till nine? Anyways, so <laughs> I missed that. Um, but Joshua Clark was still nice enough to take me out to McDonald's uh, right before the battle, and I, I met internal dueling there. Um, he's been talking to Justin, who you guys should know as a part of my team. I call Justin kind of my right hand man. He, you know, he studies up on everybody's battles, and he's watching everybody's uh, YouTube. I don't really have time to do that. Um, so props to Justin, and um, so yeah, so Joshua Clark's treating me like Rosie, guys. I'm sorry, I'm rambling, but. Treated me like royalty, and I love it. I loved it. I didn't expect the amazing treatment I got from this society. And then, you know, uh, Carl Reddish comes in today after the tournament, buys me dinner, um, drives me around. Oh, my God, guys. Like, this community is something special, something really special. And I, I appreciate everybody that um, came to the tournament, uh, whether you... You know, took me out to a ride, but actually participating in the tournament was the main thing, and you guys have shown uh, Watsi that this game is getting the attention of people, and oh my god, you guys will love the turnout of the of the tournament, it's just, it's amazing, I'm going to show you my deck profile, this is just going to be my intro video, because I, I feel like... My content on the, on the matches wasn't that great, and I'm sorry, I was really... I was really focused and I was really more into the battle than I was making the film and I'm sorry for that guys but that's that's really how it ended up being and yeah so that that's kind of my intro and thank you everybody thank you Thunder Song thank you thank you tons Joshua Clark um you you did a lot more than I thought I I did not expect you to do so much for me, and it means the world to me that someone appreciates my my presence enough to provide me with dinner one night, breakfast the next, and give me rides to the airport. Uh, I didn't think I was special enough for that treatment. Um, 
before I get into a sap story. Uh, I just I just want to show you guys uh, kind of what I got at this uh, tournament. Uh, just like as presents from everybody. And of course, you know, I gave away the Old Man Winter, so you guys will see that in content. So right away here, I'm going to show you guys what I got here. Um, I got my mat signed. Uh, that that's the play mat you all first saw. This was the was the first play mat uh, Jimmer Kajudo made. So I think either I'm going to hang this up in my room. I haven't decided, but I got a lot of people to sign it. You know. I got Blaze Belcher up here, Bobby Brake right here, Carl Reddish, Jay Matthews. I got the whole crew, you know. Um, Eternal Dueling. Wow, it was it was crazy. The Card Academy, all the channels that showed up just from Texas too. I mean, there's a lot of channels in Texas, guys. Um, I would definitely show I'd show some love to Texas. They're helping this community grow for sure. Um, second thing is I kind of collect Orion, so I got. Each of them signed by big name people, so Carl Reddish, um, this one's Joshua Clark, oh, I cannot thank Joshua Clark, oh, guys, he's just an amazing person, great heart, uh, this is Jay Matthews, put my post on Mojo, I'm telling you guys, it's up, I don't even, I'm surprised I got, <clears throat> excuse, excuse me, I'm surprised I got interviewed, uh, Blaze Belcher, Gotta love Blaze Belcher. He's a good friend of Thunder Sultans. Eternal Dueling. Of course, signed it. And the Card Academy. And then I have one, two, three, four extras. Um, I'm waiting for these to get signed. So when I go to my next event, hopefully I meet one, some of your other channels like Earth Power and TKC. I can't wait to meet you guys. But. Those are hopefully going to be signed. And then I also got this from Mr. Carl Reddish, Thunder Sultan. Uh, everybody at the tournament signed this. Of course, the winner's in the middle, and I circled his name and everything. And it just says the Oklahoma City uh, tournament, and he let me keep it. And he, I guess he brought it for me. I'm surprised. I thought it was going to go to Joshua Clark or something, but I am very thankful for this oh it's just amazing guys I'm I'm in shock and then lastly but not least Thunder Sultan still spoiled me some more bought me a monster binder right and he signs the monster binder in there and to the team gives a couple of, you guys know how Mike D likes his raw voos so he signed some for Mike D right there and then uh, Justin's favorite card, of course, is uh, oh, Cyber Trader because he liked Marina Lancer's picture. So there's Cyber Trader signed. Um, and then he signed a couple cards just to me. You know, some Dark Scared Orbals, which are cool looking cards, anyways. And then, his, of course, his signature card, Splinter Claw Wasp. Thank you so much, Carl Reddish. This, it's so tight. I, I don't know why I deserve this stuff, but. It's, you know, I'm just a person on the internet trying to contribute to a game. And, of course, lastly but not least, um, he gave me ten pages of Floor Gil Mantas. <laughs> and, uh, I've, I've kind of been debating on what to do with these guys. And, uh, I think if I get a whole book, if I get a whole book, I might just, I might just film giving these to my mom so you guys, you guys actually want to meet my mom I'm pretty sure he give me if I collect a whole binder full of four gil mantas I bet you she'll show up on camera for us all and then he gives me this thunder something gave me one of these uh, dual master um, deck holders which is very rare of course and it still has that little hole punch out thing, and this is the divider card. Oh, this is amazing. I got so much from this trip, guys. I'm so happy I took it. Thanks, everybody, at the tournament. And um, so lastly but not least, 
I am going to show the deck I used, the deck profile, of course, that I used for the tournament here. And we're going to start out right here. For water, we have three cyber traders. Uh, I mean cyber sprites, sorry. Uh, two King Naftis. Three logo stands, which are, of course are staple for blue. Uh, cyber sprites, uh, we all know that I'm going into the Neuron engine right here. So, cyber trader. I actually felt like this deck needed one more cyber trader. And I could have taken out, I think, I could have just added it too. But I was running out of bait for Neuron, surprisingly. Neuron was not, he wasn't becoming a dead draw. It was just like, I had him in my hand and he couldn't do anything because I didn't have the bait. So I felt like this deck actually could have used one for him. And it would have done really good because um, even though I did uh, lose against Cabal Control twice on one of my top eight uh, that I didn't film, I won because I was able to Neuron. Uh, for the win because he had no shield left. I kind of like bum rushed him and then he was setting up blockers and Neuron went for the win. I think that's the only thing I would change about this deck is one more Cyber Trader, guys. Just It's actually a pretty cool deck. What I tried to do, well, I mean, you guys will see it. I, I failed against Blurple, uh, against uh, Carl Reddish, but it's still a good duel. So, um, here we have... And I made I made top four and so did Carl Reddish and I guess if you count our duel that we did just in the in the blah blah, blah this thingy here what am I in room uh, hotel room uh, he would have gotten third I would have gotten fourth because we, if we actually would have battled it out that's what it would have been so props to Carl I actually only got fourth I'll, I'll take it right there but uh, here's Hydra Medusa. Three of them, of course. Uh, three Gloom Hollow. Three Terrapits. Three Bone Blades. Three Screeching Scare Adorables. And three Gigabolver. Now, running a three color deck, the reason I ran Gigabolver was because it was, it's just that perfect bait. A lot of people will kill your Scare Adorable Gloom Hollow or your Screeching Scare Adorable once it comes out. And. Or they won't play something right after Screeching Scare Adorable that you can Hydra Medusa. And it's just too much mana to Screeching into Hydra Medusa. So, I like Gigabulver. And it actually really helped a lot. Especially against the Cabal Control. And the Mirror, uh, not the Mirror Match, but against uh, other Burble decks that weren't Carl Reddish's apparently. But, this, this worked out really well for me. And... I would not take that back. I think Gigabulver in this deck actually really helped it. And the... I mean, it's just staples for the whole Medusa engine and everything. But I see Gloom Hollow just get... He's just target for spells, guys. He's just target for spells. So even if you do end up running this deck, maybe two Gigabulvers would just be nice to have. Um, and then, of course, the fire section. And I try what I tried to do was I I tried to make like a water dark fire kind of rush control. So it was really aggroly. So I got three heat seekers for you know just blocker removal and of course early removal in case I went against rush. This is tornado flame, so in case Medusa's hit my shields or Neurons hit my shields. And surprisingly all day, Tornado Flame never hit a Medusa or Neuron. But that's what they were in there for. Um, the Tatsurion, of course, for the answer to Medusa mostly, but sometimes Neuron. Neuron's too early, and I usually ended up Bone Blazing or Gia Flaming ramming into him. And Gia Flame, of course, was a backup answer in case if they did get Neuron and I wasn't able to reply, or if I didn't have Bone Blades, or, you know, if something was just wrong. Gia Flame definitely replied to Neuron, so it actually worked out really well. The deck, I was surprised it got to where it did. I didn't expect to get to top four. I'm totally happy the way this tournament ended up, guys. Um, I don't think I could say much more without rambling. So again, this this is 
Preston filming from Oklahoma City, and thank you so much, everybody who came to the tournament, and Denver loves you. Bye-bye.